that is very important then there is one more crisis which is subtler than the subtlest that is known as affection crisis there is no proper affinity between the family members the members of the academic society and eh, both between the receivers and givers that is the benefactors and beneficiaries of the various society in academic that is the student and the master husband and wife children and their parents amicable members of the society between nations starting from an individual resulting in international scenario there is no affection at all there is no affinity at all there is no tolerance and mutual understanding at all that is also a crisis without attaching these crises in this disaster the disaster study is incomplete and it is absurd and unilateral the fight is for everything there is a major crisis according to shastra that is moral crisis if there is no dharma if there is no value of religiosity if there is no value of eternity if there is no value of righteousness in the society that will result in all unwanted things according to shastras or according to the science there are four ways why nature misbehaves nature is very beautiful <coughs> the same nature's beauty and bounty that is an ugly dimension in the form of disasters why it is so Shastra gives science gives four reasons. One, the first thing is balancing. Just to balance the mass and the energy levels of Earth, it erupts at some levels, it bursts at some levels, and there are a lot of such other abnormalities in the Earth, which is a balancing process of the Earth itself. It is inbuilt destruction. Second thing is reconstructive process, wherein by Earth, by process of destruction, it reconstructs itself. The third thing is contribution. Fourth thing is retribution. Earth. of lot of disasters the so called disasters they bring also some of good things for example some impact of the disasters they have reduced considerably the carbon dioxide greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that by reducing the impact of global warming likewise in some areas a reasonable flood that has brought fertility so likewise mismanaged disaster so there are three things there is also a contributive program of the nature which if not understood or misunderstood or mismanaged that will also be a crown to disaster so disasters are of three types one is unavoidable because vinasha or destruction is a nature and recreation is also a part of nature so that type of thing is totally inevitable the second thing is by means of mismanagement or improper understanding or lack of understanding totally at all we are not utilizing the contributive resources the third thing already existing disasters by our lack of knowledge execution sincerity vigilance and uh, harmonious way of organizing it you are exasperating the occasions so there are inevitable disasters there are improperly managed contributions of nature which has resulted in disasters there are few mitifiable or uh, subjected to control and pacification there are some limited disasters which are subjected to negligence subservience and the ignorance of the community which has exasperated the occasion resulting in mass or colossal damage even small damages of very much magnified by colossal damage because of your mismanagement so these three categories can be totally identified with the eight crises now let us come into the earthquake earthquake is said to be the crown of all geological disasters now everybody since dawn till the dusk everybody is afraid of the earthquake at all earthquake has been dealt in brihat samhita it has been very much dealt in brihat samhita once we have to organize that in our trust we must organize the traditional beliefs as well as uh, the technical beliefs we have to make a common platform for discussion about early alarming systems and the causation factor study systems for these earthquakes earthquake basically you know that there is a natural earthquake possibility in throughout the world because of a principle known as uh, the galaxial isostatic adjustment because of the climatic condition variations the glacial molten things they drive into the system at all resulting in increasing the sea levels inducing the gravity resulting also in earthquakes so naturally the climatic condition or the global warming <coughs> or the various environmental the totalitarian impact of the environmental mismanagements or misbehaviors caused by the human community <coughs> there is an eternal danger and alarm for earthquakes apart from which the tectonic plate debilitations and tectonic plate shifts that happen between inner layer infrastructure that is also a reason for that so they are caused by seismic power or seismic energy this uh, seismic energy if released they burst into some areas where there is a thick population that is where there is a vulnerability due to overloaded population then that creates a very great damage in other areas it is not considered even though human beings the only problem is they consider only human life as life 
they don't consider about any other life form they don't give any significance at all so that which is very vulnerable only to human life and thick infrastructure well developed infrastructure as it is in mumbai and hyderabad they are pondered much as if rural lives are not valuable or the other species their lives are not valuable whenever the mentality is like that uh, going with the spatial supremacy or racial or fiscal supremacy of one's own status then that is it always the human being to be vulnerable or to be a good receptacle for disaster prone nature so whenever a human being realizes that he is only a part and everything is a composite structure then immediately his receptivity and understanding of natural resources and the alarming systems of his cognitive load it will properly work so apart from that there is a shallow based block is there and there is a deep based block is there depending on which now we are getting lot of various disasters in which intensified impact is getting very deep thing and a shallow thing that creates a trivial loss so these type of systems are well studied and also an earthquake has innumerable various other things earthquake to create an earthquake it requires lot of process inside the earth according to shastras the early earlier and earliest detection even before that is formed even before that is formed when the energy eruption taken is taking place and second thing is when there is a shift when there is inception of a shift in the plates of the seismic zone or the epicenter so when that is happening then then we can have, have a possibility of uh, getting scientific intrusion intervention and then knowing these things the third thing is when it gives the shaking and other uh, perceptible symptoms then also we can prevent that so earthquake not only gives earthquake but also it has lot of other connective and psychic impacts earthquake results in uh, a problem known as ground rupture it results in shaking then it may result in tsunami and it may result in flood it may also contribute to fire and electrical accidents so innumerable other connective systems are there so the problem is we have to understand the inner earth infrastructure which is known as civil infrastructure in earthquake engineering now there are innumerable studies known as earthquake engineering then uh, seismic zone safety and preparedness there are innumerable such vigilant measures are being taken care of the society and it is based on inner infrastructure management the inner uh, infrastructure that is with three things the ground and the construction and the inner ground of the ground the ground and the inner ground connection with the various other approximate constructions also so that creates a total theory and study it is known as inner layer infrastructure study <coughs> on the basis of which now they are constructing lot of things in cypress even before several millennia we had the construction of the base isolation which we are uh, introducing now base isolation under construction is a new introduction in our country or in the new emerging science that was there in the cypress construction and the ancient rome construction earlier then there is also a type of construction known as elevated foundation of the building elevated building foundation then uh, friction pendulum bearing all of these things are very newly introduced things and we see lot of such things in the construction the problem is these norms must be very systematically <coughs> it must be followed which more financial resources as well as knowledge resources to adapt all of these things uh, certainly we require lot of knowledge and financial resources with which a complete structure cannot be made in the society like that then based on these things now there must be a vigilance in there is a special designing known as earthquake uh, preventing architecture which is based on the vibration control technology vibration control technology and there are tests like uh, the shake table crash test the recent test is known as the shake table crash test by which they are well tested on the basis of which the new constructions are made stronger stipulations must be given by the department of construction department of infrastructure management as well as to engineers architects and other people also to the consumers the civilians of the society they must be given some awareness like they are constructing a beautiful house they must be given some knowledge about to, uh, how to live how to construct and live a secure life in a secure house that also the beauty is safety mere beauty without the person alive or the infrastructure being collapsed that is merely useless so this is the thing so now we are having in innumerable structures like that which must be very properly planned like we are having timber frame structure we are having light frame structure we are having the adobe brick frame structure we are having sandstone we had limestone we had now we are having a uh, lot of other uh, uh, masonry systems up there now steel steel reinforcement system is there reinforced concrete system is there reinforced masonry system is there 
then innumerable systems are that they must be designed in such a manner that they are not only eco-friendly, they are also disaster.